。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英文文法与修辞一。同学，大家好，欢迎收看《英文文法与修辞》第三讲次。我们这个礼拜要谈的是 verb patterns 动词分类。下面我要为同学讲解讲次目标。我们这个讲次是要帮同学理解动词它的定义和分类。我们希望介绍说主动和被动有哪些差异，还有不及物和及物动词它的区分。当然，我们还要希望帮同学理解中英文动词用法不同，以及造成学生英文错误的原因。下面是这讲次的摘要。我们用动词来询问事情，或是传达动作，或者是陈述存在的状态。那动词它的主动和被动，它主要的差异是：主词发出动作，这时候就是主动；那主词是接受动作的话，就是被动。那另外。不及物和及物动词，它的区分如下：第一种是 complete intransitive verb， 就是完全不及物动词，它指的是说动词它没有动作接受者，就没有受词。啊，我们举例来说明 ：Times fly， 时光飞逝；啊 ，The moon shines， 月亮照耀者。这时候没有受词。那、啊、第二种是 incomplete intransitive verb， 不完全不及物动词，指的是动词没有动作接受者，没有受词，可是它需要主词补语来补充主词的讯息。举例来说 ，Lily is my sister。那 Lily 她是我的姐妹，啊，没有动词接受者，可是 my sister 是来补充 Lily。He became a teacher， 他变成老师。啊，第三种是 complete transitive verb， 完全及物动词，指的是动词它有动作接受者。后面要接受词。举例来说 ，My niece plays the piano。我的子女她弹钢琴，那弹有要接一个受词，就是钢琴。第四种是 incomplete transitive verb， 不完全的及物动词，指的是动词有动作的接受者。后面必须接受词，此外，它还要加上受词补语来补充讯息。比方说 ，We elected John president of the class。我们选约翰。选约翰做什么呢？我们需要补语来补充这个讯息，就选约翰做 president of the class， 班长。第五种是 double transitive verb， 双及物动词，它指的说动词有动作接受者，它后面要接两个受词，就是直接和间接受词。我们比方说 ，Her parents bought her a house， 她的父母买，买这个动作有两个接受者，买给她什么东西呢？一栋房子。
好，下面的话我们要为同学朗读课文，请 Steven 老师帮我们念课文。Verb patterns. Verbs are used to ask something, to express an action, or to state being. Verbs are very important in a sentence. Actually, without them, sentences would be incomplete. When we talk about verbs, we have to know their voice. Voice is the form of the verb that indicates whether the subject of the sentence performs the action or is the receiver of the action of the verb. The following are two examples. John ate the apple on the table. The subject of the sentence performs the action. The apple on the table was eaten by John. The subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action of the verb. If the action of the verb is directed towards some receiver, it is a transitive verb. Otherwise, it is intransitive. Some verbs may be either transitive or intransitive. In this lecture, we are going to divide the verbs into one complete transitive, two incomplete. Intransitive, three complete transitive, four incomplete transitive, and five double transitive verbs. Number one, complete intransitive verbs. In this pattern, the action of the verb is not directed towards some receiver. Therefore, the verb is not followed by an object. Example sentences: Drinking and driving don't mix. Time flies. The moon shines. Number two, incomplete intransitive verbs. The verb is followed by an object, not by an object, but by a subject complement, which provides more information about the subject of the sentence. The subject complement can be a noun or an adjective. Example sentences: Lily is my sister. He became a teacher. This dessert tastes delicious. This flower smells good. The sky became dark. The milk went sour. Number three, complete transitive verbs. In this pattern, the verb is followed by a direct object. Example sentences: She bought a necklace. Many people love dogs. I need your help. My nephew plays the piano. They enjoy watching movies. Number four, incomplete transitive verbs. In this pattern, the verb takes a direct object and an object complement. Example sentences: We elected John president of the class. They find him a mysterious person. I prefer my coffee black. The speaker made his speech short. The chair declares this meeting open. Number five, double transitive verbs. In this pattern, the verb is followed by an indirect object and a direct object. Example sentences: My father bought me a car. My friend taught me English. They lent me. Some money. The waiter gave him the bill. Note on usage: A. For the verbs see, look at, and watch, generally speaking, look at refers to something that is not moving. Watch refers to something that is moving. See can refer to both something that is moving or not moving. B. Some verbs may be either transitive or intransitive. For example, Stephanie can sing and dance. Sing is intransitive verb. She is going to sing a song for you now. Sing is a transitive verb.
Verbs are used to ask something. 动词是用来询问事情 ，to express an action， 来传达一个动作 ，or to stay being， 或者是描述一个存在的状态。Verbs are very important in a sentence. 动词在句子里面非常重要。Actually, without them， 事实上没有动词的话。Sentences will be incomplete. 句子就不完整。When we talk about verbs, 当我们谈论动词的时候 ，we have to know their voice. 我们必须要知道它的时态。Voice is the form of a verb. 所谓的时态指的是动词，它 that indicate whether the subject of the sentence. Perform the action. Its subject, the sentence subject, is not acting. Perform the action, or is the receiver of the action of the verb, or is the receiver. The following are two examples. We will look at two examples. John ate the apple on the table. 这个主词是 John, subject of the sentence, performed action. 他是发出动作。约翰吃苹果。The apple on the table was eaten by John. The subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action of the verb. 这个句子里面是苹果被约翰吃。这时候这个。主词苹果，它是接受动作，就是被吃。If the action of the verb is direct towards some receiver， 假如动词的动作，它是要导向某一个接受者，就是它动作有接受者。It is a transitive verb， 这就是及物动词。Otherwise, 不然的话 it is intransitive. 它就是不及物动词 Some verbs may be either transitive or intransitive. 那有一些动词它可以是及物，也可以是不及物动词，就有两种用法 In this lecture, we are going to divide the verbs into. 这个讲次，我们把动词分成以下这些类别。第一种是 complete intransitive， 完全不及物；第二种是 incomplete intransitive， 不完全不及物；第三种是 complete transitive， 完全及物；第四种是 incomplete transitive， 它是不完全及物。那最后第五种是 double transitive verb， 双及物动词。那所谓的 complete intransitive verb， 完全不及物动词，这个类型指的是说 ，the action of the verb， 动词的动作 is not directed towards some receiver， 它动作没有传向没，没有接受者。Therefore, 因此 the verb is not followed by an object. 它既然没有接受者，就是说它不需要有受词接在后面。我们举例来说 ，drinking and driving doesn't mix. 喝酒和开车不可以，呃，不可以混在一起。就是喝酒不开车，开车不喝酒。好，另外就是 time flies， 时光飞逝。那时光飞逝，它不需要有受词。The moon shines， 月光照射着。好，这些都不需要有受词。第二种是 incomplete intransitive verb， 不完全不及物动词。它指的是说 the verb is not followed by an object， 动词。不需要接受词 ，but by a subject complement， 可是必须要接一个主词补语。那原因是 ，which provides more information about the subject of the sentence， 
这受词补语可以提供更多的讯息。关于什么的讯息呢？关于这个句子，它的 subject， 它主词的讯息。啊、uh, ，the subject complement 主词补语，它可以是 noun or an adjective， 或者是形容词。举例说明 ，Lily is my sister. Lily 是我的姐妹，所以 my sister 是补语，补充 Lily 的身份。下面 ，He became a teacher. 他变成变成什么呢 ？A teacher. A teacher 是主词补语，补充 He 的讯息。He 是什么呢？他是老师。下面的 dessert tastes. Delicious. 这个甜点，它吃起来很好吃。那这很好吃是一个形容词，它是主词补语，补充这个甜点。甜点怎么样？很好吃。啊 ，The flower smells good. 这个花闻起来，闻起来很很香。这个，所以这个形容词 good 是主词的补语。修饰这个花，这个花怎么样呢？是很香。The sky became dark. 天空变黑了。好，这个 dark 形容词是主词 sky 的补语，补充天空的讯息。The milk went sour. 牛奶变酸了。好 ，sour 是一个形容词，作为主词 milk 的。补语补充 milk 的讯息。那第三种是 complete transitive verb， 完全及物动词。它指的是 the verb is followed by a direct object。这种动词必须要接，直接接一个受词。我们举例说明 ：She bought a necklace。她买买什么呢？ A necklace, 买了一串项链。Many people love. 许多人爱爱什么呢？受词是 dog， 很爱狗。I need your help. 我需要需要什么呢？它的受词是需要你的帮助。My nephew plays piano. 我的子女他会弹弹什么呢？受词就是弹钢琴。They enjoy watching movie. 他们很喜欢，这个喜欢什么呢？受词是 watch i n g movie。好，第四种是 incomplete transitive verb， 不完全的及物动词。那这个类型指的是 the verb takes a direct object and object complements。这个动词它需要有一个直接的受词，而且还要有受词补语。我们举例来看。We elect John. 我们选选什么？选 John。选 John 什么呢？讯息不完整，所以要个补语。选 John 做 President of the class， 班长。They find him. 他们发现他，发现他什么呢？讯息不完整，发现他是一个 mysterious person， 很神秘的人。好，再过来是 I prefer my coffee. 我喜欢我的咖啡怎么样呢？讯息不完整，加个形容词。喜欢我的咖啡 ，black 是指说不加糖、不加奶精，就是黑咖啡。下面 ，the speaker made his speech。这个演讲者他的演讲怎么样呢？讯息不完整，他的演讲是 short， 这形容词做一个形容词的补语，受词补语。再过来。The chair declares. 这个主席宣布，宣布这个 meeting 受词，宣布这个开会怎么样呢？再加一个形容词，就是开会。The meeting 这个会议开始。好，再一个类型，最后是 double transitive verb， 双及物动词。那它指的是 the verb is followed by an direct indirect object。这个动词，它要接一个间接受词 ，indirect 就是间接受词，以及一个直接受词 ，direct object。那我们举例说明 
my father bought. 我的父亲买买什么呢？买给我，买给我什么呢 ？A car. 买给我一辆车。所以 me 我是人，是间接受词。A car 是物，是直接受词。My friend taught me English. 我的朋友教教我教我什么呢？英文。好 ，They lent me some money. 他们借借给我，所以我是间接受词。借给我什么呢？一些钱，这直接受词，就双受词。The waiter gave him 这个 waiter 试着给。给谁？给他？给他什么东西？是 the bill 账单。好，这双及物。好，我们先休息一下，待会为同学继续讲解。Notes on usage， 我们为同学补充一些用法。第一个是 for the verb see, look at, and watch. 有三个动词 see, look at, watch 都是看。Generally speaking, 一般来讲 look at 这个看指的是说 something that is not moving， 就是固定的没有动的东西，我们要用 look at。那 watch 这个看 refer to something that is moving， 它指的是看那个会移动的东西。See。它就是两种都可以，它是 something that is moving or not moving， 就 see 两种动不动都可以哈。那另外还有一些动词 ，some verbs may be either transitive or intransitive。有些动词它可以及物，也可以当不及物。我们举例给同学看 ，Stephanie can sing and dance。Stephanie 会唱歌又会跳舞，那这个 sing 它是不及物动词。啊、uh, ，She is going to sing a song for you now. 她现在要为你唱一首歌。这边的 sing 唱就是一个及物动词，唱歌。好，我们课文到这里。下面我们要为同学复习一下我们的重要词汇。One express 表达。Two Incomplete, 不完全的，不完整的。Three, complete, 完全的，完整的。Four, voice, 语态，主动语态。Active voice, 被动语态。Passive voice. Five, receiver, 接受者。Six, mysterious, 神秘的。Seven, declare, 宣布。Eight, look at. 看固定的物体。例句 ：Look at this painting. 看这幅画。Nine. Watch. 看移动的物体。例句 ：If you want to learn how to make a cake, watch what your mother does and how she does it. 假如你要学怎么样做蛋糕，看你的母亲怎么做和如何的做。Ten. See. 看移动固定物体皆可。例句 ：Larry cannot see; he is blind. Larry 他没办法看，看不到，因为他是瞎子。好，接下来是我们的聊天室。好，我们这一周谈的是动词分类。那我们要请 Steven 老师帮我们多谈一下英文跟中文有哪一些不同。Steven, the subject for this week is on verb patterns that you probably have noticed that how different the Chinese and the English they are in terms of verb patterns. Can you elaborate on this? First of all, let me point out the distinction between active and passive voice. Between, on the one hand, John ate the apple, and the apple was eaten by John, is one that modern Chinese tends to avoid. 
but it's very important in English. The sentence, the man was bitten by a dog, is perfectly good English. It's the kind of sentence we use a lot. But it means something quite different from the man bit the dog. Shuffle老师他跟我们讲说 这个男人被狗咬，跟这个男人咬狗是非常的不一样。这在英文里面被动常用，那同学要学习怎么样用。a subject complement tells us more about the subject of the sentence. For instance, in the sentence, Lily is my sister, the phrase my sister is describing Lily, is giving us more information about her. An object complement tells us more about the object of the sentence. For instance, in the sentence, I prefer my coffee black. The word black is describing the coffee, not me. It's saying how I like my coffee. 好,那接下来的话就是强调的就是补语,主持的补语跟受持的补语要注意哈。那假 Lily is my sister, 这 my sister 它是主持 Lily, 是谈 Lily。所以它是主持补语 I prefer my coffee black 这时候这个black补语受词补语 它讲的是coffee 修饰的是它的咖啡是要黑咖啡 而不是修饰说这个主持怎么样 它修饰的是受词coffee On the subject of indirect objects This is also important English grammar allows an indirect object to be expressed in either of two different ways. Either it can be expressed by a simple noun phrase coming right after the verb, as in, they lent me some money, or my father bought me a car, or it can be expressed by a prepositional phrase involving either two or four. They lent some money to me. My father bought a car for me. Typically, we are more likely to use the first option if the, an indirect object is a simple pronoun, like her or me. But the second, if the indirect object is a longer noun phrase. So you can say, they lent me some money if the object is just a short pronoun. But they lent some money to the guy who lives down the street. 好,那現在就講說這個雙受詞哈,這時候的話要注意有兩種,一種就是說它是直接接在動詞後面,那另外一種就是所謂的片語式的受詞,那主要的區分就是說 假如这个受词是一个代名词，he或是her，这时候的话是一个简单的代名词的时候，它就直接接在动词的后面。可是假如这个受词是很长的一一个字组的时候，这时候它就要用介系词的一个受词片语。那刚刚Steven老师有举例
直接受词、间接受词这些分类，让同学练习使用一下。那我们谢谢各位同学这周的收看，下周请继续收看。我们还是要为同学谈的是名词。